Hey, welcome back to the Blade Lab. It's been a long absence. Apologize for that. And uh, also apologize for this video, which is going to probably interest uh, a very few, <laughs> a very few people. Um, but I'm going to do it because I think it'll be helpful for some um, who ran into a problem that uh, that I did. So this uh, here is a uh, Toolker Chinese-made uh, 1x30 grinder slash sander um, that a number of uh, people doing knife sharpening have started to use uh, because it's uh, it's a pretty handy unit. It's got this uh, sort of variable speed uh, setting. You can uh, change the direction for an aft. This is not going to be a review of the unit, but you can you can sort of change the angle of the uh, of the uh, sort of platen here, depending on what you're doing. You can replace this with a uh, I think it's a four inch rubber wheel for different activities. Anyway, pretty handy unit. Um, for knife sharpening, um, I've been meaning to try out a 1x30 in addition to everything else that I have. And uh, the way I wanted to do it was using this, uh, this angle guide, um, which as far as I know, uh, I think Cliff Curry, who is a knife sharpener in Hawaii, I think he's the one who sort of came up with this idea. Um, and let me uh, grab a knife to show you how it works if you don't know. Obviously, I don't have a belt on here at the moment. Let me just grab a belt. And just so uh, this goes around here. So. It's just for uh, demo purposes, but the, the way you're going to use this, you're just going to hold this against the angle guide. I haven't got the angle set here, so I'm just screwing this knife up at the moment, but so you're just going to go across and just get a nice sort of even angle that way. And go around the other side. So... Uh, it just helps you hold a, an even angle, and you can obviously change the uh, the size of the angle on it. Now, um, when uh, Cliff Curry came up with this idea, he was using it with uh, Harbor Freight one by thirties and uh, similar designs, um, and the uh, the way it works with those is, let me just pull this off. I'll insert a picture of the uh, of this uh, angle guide for you before it's been modified. So I have uh, used a uh, Dremel with a cutoff wheel to cut off the top here. This is usually solid, and there's a clip uh, that goes down like a metal clip inside of here. And on a Harbor Freight and like machines, you just slide the clip over the top of the uh, platen. But you can't obviously do that with a tool curve because uh, you just don't have access to the top of the platen. It doesn't work that way. Um, I don't know if you can see how it's mounted from that angle. I think you can. <coughs> so uh, another clever fellow, Paul from Alexandria Knife Shop Sharpening, uh, he's done a nice uh, review of this machine, by the way, if you're interested. Check that out. Um, but he uh, came up with the idea of of uh, basically doing what I just showed you, you know, cutting off the top of the, uh, of the angle guide and then sticking it on there. And what he did, which was uh, seemed very clever to me, was use magnets, uh, such as he had different ones, but... Uh, use magnets to stick the angle guide to the platen. Awesome. Um, I thought <laughs> when I purchased this machine, sometime after he had purchased his. Um, but when I did so, when I received the machine, what I discovered was that the platen 
that mine came with is not magnetic. Uh, apparently, what this uh, Toolker, T O O L C K E R, what they had done in the interim is change the uh, steel that they were using. I'm assuming that uh, previously they were using a 430 or something in the 400 series of stainless steels, uh, which is magnetic. Um, and I'm assuming that they switched that to, excuse me, something in the 3 Series, 304, 316 probably, um, which is not magnetic. It just has a higher uh, chromium content and I don't know, I'm, I don't know all, all about the metallurgy, but uh, I can tell you that it is not magnetic. So when I went to stick my angle guide onto the platen, it just fell off. Not helpful. So then it occurred to me that there are a couple of things that you could do to uh, alleviate the problem. Uh, one would be what I ended up doing for a while, which was just use some, uh, some of that uh, foam double-backed you know, 3M mounting tape, and I just stuck it on there, which works great if you only want to use a, the angle guide and never want to use your platen for any other purpose. Um, and... I discovered after a while that uh, I did want to use my platen for other purposes. You know, for you might want to, for example, um, if you want to like thin a blade, you know, the whole blade. You don't, you can't have the angle guide there. You just need uh, need access to the platen. You can do it on a slack part of the belt up here, um, but then you're gonna going to have uh, some concavity on your uh, the side of your blade, which is not ideal. So. I determined at that point that I needed another solution. Uh, so with some difficulty, I dismounted the uh, angle guide with the construction tape and spent some time removing the tape, which had functionally melted, I guess because the heat of the belt going over it. That was fun. Um, and then, so then I was thinking of different options. You know, one thing that occurred to me was that I could just take the existing platen off bring it to a metal shop and have them fabricate a new one in a magnetic steel. Um, but that seemed like kind of a pain in the ass and probably would be expensive. So um, I kept thinking. And the next thing I thought was, why don't I just get some sort of uh, magnetic metal you know, steel flashing and I'll just glue it on top of the existing uh, platen. And that, in fact, is what I did. I don't know if you can see this here. I'll zoom in in a moment. But uh, so then I went about trying to find, since I didn't happen to have any one inch uh, magnetic steel laying around. So what I did was I looked on Amazon and uh, what I, I almost purchased, because uh, there's a bunch of uh, one inch stainless steel that's relatively inexpensive on Amazon. But uh, Fortunately, before I purchased it, I uh, started looking into this whole magnetic issue and discovered, you know, that, uh, that these 300 series steels are not magnetic. And then I noticed that most of these uh, affordable stainless steel strips are made out of uh, 300 series steels. So that was a no-go. So then there, I did find on Amazon, there was one supplier of one inch, uh, I think it was uh, 430 stainless steel, which would have worked, but it was like 40 bucks for, you know, and I forget how long the strip was, but, um, you know, I only needed, uh, you know, <laughs> one, two, three, about four inches of it. So uh, that seemed like a bad idea. And then it occurred to me, which is why I'm doing this video finally, is that I have some uh, one inch magnetic stainless steel laying around, but it was happened to be in the form of a um, combination square. You know, this, uh, sorry, is that in focus now? Maybe. Now I think it is. So yeah, so what this is here is just a piece of the uh, ruler that I, uh, I used my uh, Dremel with a cutoff wheel. I just cut it off uh, to fit 
the length of the platen, which I believe was actually 18 millimeters, if you're going to do this yourself. Um, so yeah, so I just uh, cut off that section. And then uh, since I no longer had, uh, had the angle guide mounted, I actually had the platen there. So I used a little tool rest and um, a 120 belt just to round off the corners and soften the, uh, the sides of the uh, ruler section that I cut off. And then I used uh, Gorilla Glue to glue it to the existing platen. And voila, it now works. And it's, you know, you might be thinking, well, I was thinking, hmm, I wonder if it's going to be uh, strong enough because, you know, the ruler's not very thick. I think it's about a one-eighth of an inch thick. Um, but it is plenty thick. It's not going to, uh, it's definitely not going to move while you are working with it. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's a good strength, so it's easy enough to... Um, <laughs> to remove the angle guide, but uh, not so not so weak that it's going to move while you're using it. So I was very pleased with the solution. Um, so you were thinking, but you've destroyed your uh, combination square, <laughs> and which is true. But um, the reason it occurred to me is that I actually had two of them, and uh, the, this one. Uh, I don't know if you can read this. I can't tell from... Yeah, I think you can probably read that. This is a Mecurit brand. Uh, super cheap. Uh, these are actually available on Amazon for, I think, $13.90, $14. Uh, there are some on there that are even cheaper, but I can't guarantee that those rulers are magnetic, whereas I know this one is, at least the one that I purchased. You know, As we've seen, sometimes they change that so no guarantees but anyway so uh, yeah I wasn't using this anyway it's frankly uh, pretty junky and uh, so I said well let me put it to some good use and I did and what I may also do um, is use a section um, somewhere on here to uh, mount a, a magnetic a base with a magnetic uh, a light with a magnetic base. There we go, Adam. Good job. Um, yeah, because all of the steel basically on this machine, except for the uh, you know the the hardware, uh, this hardened steel, um, and maybe nothing else. Yeah, all the other parts are made out of uh, that uh, 300 series steel, so they are not magnetic. So keep that in mind, too, if you're planning on using a magnetic uh, light on your machine. Okay, so that was, uh, I hope that made some kind of sense. I will uh, maybe post links to some of these things. <laughs> I'll post links to uh, to uh, Paul at Alexandria Knife Sharpening's, uh, his review of this machine and his... Um, explanation for how to uh, modify the angle guide to fit on it not including obviously the addition of uh, the magnetic part which he didn't need because his platen is magnetic from the factory so I hope that was helpful to uh, probably four people <laughs> hopefully more um, but I'll do uh, I'm going to get back into doing some videos so I will uh, see you soon have a good one.